it's finally time to get my corn grain, the field corn I've been growing. <laughs> what we got here? Yes, sir. -y. About a week ago, I was actually off. I'm working every day straight this week, but I came through here last Tuesday and got every single ear off with a couple of exceptions that I wanted to let go just a little bit longer. About a thousand stalks out here, and some of them had two ears, some of them had one, but uh, pretty good harvest all in all. I've got a few that I just kind of left on here that weren't, weren't doing very much. If you get any areas that have like, you know, where it's been eaten out, things like that, process these last because my mom has got chickens and so I'll process these grind them up and uh, she'll have chicken feed all winter the other thing I'm doing is I'm taking all of my debris my uh, shucks and whatnot and I'm tossing them down here on the ground um, now that I've got we got lots of traffic out here now that I've pretty much got all of my ears off of the stalks what I'm going to do next is I've got 10 rows of drip irrigation. I'm going to come through and I'm going to, I'll run that drip irrigation for about an hour. That way it'll soften the ground up and then I'll pull it all up and then I'll come through and uh, I'll have the boy chop these stalks down. I got some pretty good sized stalks. Check out this picture from uh, earlier in the season when I was running the drip. About three or four weeks ago, I shut that drip off completely. That way everything could start drying out. You want a certain dryness percentage also, but I'll have him cut these up, lay them down, and then I'll come over everything with the uh, with the mower, chop it all up, and then cover it with a tarp. And come next spring, it'll be ready to plant in. So let me go show you what I got drying out now. Holy cow! Well, I've got two levels here of the good corn that I've been drying out, um, and it actually goes two back and multiple levels high, so I'm going to get a pretty good amount of grain. On this very bottom level here, I've got that stuff I was telling you about that's going to be for the chickens, and I've also got the stuff that fell off that's in a uh, bucket. The other thing that I've been doing is I have, for the last week, I've been running a fan uh, pointed at this stuff on high and just thoroughly drying it out. So what I've got right here, I guess the official name for it is a corn decerneler. <laughs> it's an old-fashioned looking deal here and pretty cool. It's got some neat features to it. What I've done is got myself a big old box here so that as these things come popping off, uh, they won't go all over the house. Your corn's going to go in here. Uh, it's actually got teeth in here and so when you crank this thing, It's going to start rotating and popping those kernels off. This thing right here is actually has the ability to expand for different sizes. And then when, once it gets done, it's going to run it all the way down and then it's going to pull it back out and spit your cob out right here. And take that bad boy and pop it in there like that. Then it's off to the races. <laughs> That's pretty fun. And then all you're left with is a nice soft cob. The other thing you can do with these corn cobs is you can actually grind them up and they make great absorbent material too. Not quite as soft as Charmin though. Sometimes it's not going to go through on the first go. You just pop it back in there and let it go again. I'll see you guys in a little while. I got a lot to do here. We got a little bit done there. Actually, we got a lot done. That is a whole lot of grain. Look at all that. Now the next thing that I need to do here is I'm going to go outside with this and a big fan and a scoop and we're going to sift this stuff off because there's a lot of chaff in here. Did you see what we got? It's corny. 
<laughs> There's a kernel of truth to that. <laughs> 60 pounds, I think. I'd say this is at least 60 pounds of corn grain. Whew, looky there. <laughs> Time to get to work here. Now I'm going to take this gigantic scoop. I'm going to turn this fan on high. I'm going to blow chaff off. Just like this. Okay, so I got all of that sifted, and here's what I wound up with here. I've got about six bags here. I would say they're about 20 pounds a piece, maybe thereabouts. And so now I got to do one more thing for the night just to kill off anything that's in there. We're going to go sit this down in the freezer for the next 24 hours that'll kill off any weevils bugs anything like that and then we can get it out and grind it up well it's been a few days since we got the corn out of the freezer now what I did is I aired it out for several days kept the corn rotated kept air on it in order to make sure that there was no moisture on it now this is just a cheap little mill I got off of Amazon uh, it's called a moon giant G so I've got a little pan here and it's a pretty nice little setup you can actually adjust it for the fineness or the coarseness of your grain and as you can see right here it's got the little spindles the nice thing about this is it does not require any electricity Let me give this some grain What I've done is I've just folded over a little piece of paper here. That way anything that tries to fly that way is going to stay in there. Well, looky there, would you? Now we're going to do a little sifting. We're going to do two different siftings. Let me show you that. You use a fine mesh first, you'll get your cornmeal or corn flour, and then a slightly bigger one will get you your grits. You can get to shaking, baby. <laughs> shake, shake, shake. Just take it and dump it in the other one. And we're going to shake this one down. The second sifting is going to be our grits. And then if we need to, we can either do one of two things. We can take what's left over, run it back through the grinder, even finer, grind it down some more, or we can just feed it to the chickens. I will say, the smaller amount that you put in this sifter, the easier and better it's going to work for you. Okay, so it's another day and another plan. That last batch that I actually ground down and then sifted, I got some decent cornmeal out of it, but I had a whole lot of big chunks to it. So what I've done is I've loosened this bad boy up right here, and I've tightened this outer plate that actually does the, uh, the turning and the grinding, and I've gotten it as close as possible. So I'm going to run another batch through it now and see if we can't get a finer processed uh, bit of corn grain. It is a wee bit tighter though. <laughs> Okay, so now with the tighter setting, the, the, the closer setting there, this is what I actually wound up with. And I'm going to show you a side-by-side a -side now. You can see if you don't have that plate quite as tight, 
it's just not going to be that fine and that is much much better it's going to sift really good let me show you how what we're going to do now <laughs> now pardon the mess here this is a working dining room uh, Kiwi Kate uh, does a lot of work from home over there and then I'm using all of this now a couple of the things that I've done is I have bought some some sealable jars just to put the grain in the stuff that I'm not freezing I'm going to keep uh, about four of these jars on hand at any time that way anytime we want to grind some up we'll be able to do that and then for the stuff that uh, I'm grinding right now that we're ready for as you can see I've got one jar for the cornmeal corn flour and then I've got another jar just for the grits there sift away Super fine. Well, not super fine, but fine enough. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Shake your corny. Don't look at me like that. Okay, so I've worked my way through this whole pan here. Let's take a look and see what we've got here. Look at there. Oh yeah, that's some high quality cornmeal right there. And then for the grits, it seems like I always get more, more of the grit bits. Yes, indeed. And then for the corn flour, these are just some ready-to-use jars uh, that we'll keep in the kitchen. I'm just going to take this stuff here. There we go. More for the jar. Then I gotta do my grits. And in she goes. So on the first bag of corn that I uh, processed through, I got a jar I got about yay much grits here. And about yay much flour. Or cornmeal. There we go. Well guys, I sure hope you found this helpful. Uh, it's taken a couple of weeks to put this little video together. I've been uh, bringing plants uh, both into the greenhouse and into the, the main house here. so. I really dislike this time of year. <laughs> you, we leave about six weeks of blazing hot uh, fire uh, temperature wise and then we get about a week of nice weather and then all of a sudden ah, get the plants in <laughs> get the plants in the house, get the plants in the greenhouse. And so yeah, uh, we've been really busy but uh, we appreciate you watching and if you have any better ways of processing your, your field corn, whether it's a better sifter or anything like that, I am all ears. I could use the help. This is our first season actually grinding up uh, corn that we grew uh, to use, and uh, we're just doing the best we can. But if you got better ideas, post them down in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you in the next video. Hey, Jungle Dairy. Yeah? Did you really just say that you were all ears? Well, they're not anymore. Now they're kernels. There's a kernel of truth to that. What? Colonel of Truth. Yeah. Oh. It's a fine line though. <laughs> fine? Uh. It's a fine line though. Very fine. <laughs> See you in the next one.